It is time to go inside the huddle. I am your host, Matt Berry. My co-host this week is Orlando Skandrick. We're at the Foundation Room of the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. Uh, Orlando is in a cast this week because he was hurt doing his media duties. Is that true or false? It's false. I actually um, got injured in the second quarter of Thursday's game. So he did not punch a reporter. And I was not the reporter. He did not punch. Let's go inside the huddle. Inside the Huddle, hosted by DeMarcus Ware and Jay Ratliff. Recorded live Monday nights at House of Blues in Dallas. Inside the Huddle, presented by Floss Dental, a new experience in dentistry. Now, here's your host, Matt Berry. We are back on a Monday here at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. This is Inside the Huddle presented by Floss. I am your host, Matt Berry. We come to you each and every week out here. We have fun. We talk Cowboys football. Win or lose, we try to have a good time on this stage. My co-host this week, we talked to him upstairs a second ago. Please give a big round of applause once again for number 32, Mr. Orlando Skandrick. Orlando! Now, Orlando, we're up here week in and week out. We're talking football, but, but this week we're going to talk a little bit differently from your perspective. I know a lot of people want to know. We said we were going to talk about it a little bit. First of all, how's the injury going? And explain to a little bit about what's going on with that. I had a um, successful surgery on my hand, which was my first metacarpal. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't really have a timetable yet. It just depends on my body and depends on how what's been diagnosed as a deep, bone bruise and a ligament sprain in my wrist. So I'm going to be optimistic and hopefully I can play again this season. Now, did you know on Thursday when you guys were playing the Redskins, did you know something seriously happened? Or, and explain the play, what exactly happened. Um, when, I, when I came off the field after the play, I knew something was wrong. Mm -hmm. I, I thought I broke my wrist, which it turned out I did, and that's pretty good because I'd be out for right. the season definitely. And as far as the play, I was making a tackle on – Spencer, one of our great outside linebackers, was coming to help, like, assist me with the tackle. And when he dove in, he kind of launched himself into the guy. But my hand was on top of his shoulder pad, and his, the crown of his helmet went directly on my hand. Now, as far as your football playing career is concerned, how many injuries – I mean, injuries are a part of football. It happens every week, every game. I mean, <laughs> yeah. In your history, how many injuries have you had? Um, this was my sixth successful surgery. Wow. Um, five of which are on the same left hand, so I guess I just got a really bad left hand. <laughs> <laughs> that left hand may be cursed. And the worst part about it is I'm left-handed. Oh, no. Yeah, Did you but, hear the, the, the moan you got from Yeah, I'm going to be okay, though. I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm tough, and I'll go through the rehab process and do whatever it takes, and if I can play, I'll play. So hopefully you get back for the final few games of the season. Well, the thing is, right when I come out of the cast doesn't mean I'm ready to go and start playing. Got to rehab. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't mean that it's strong enough. Mm -hmm. So... I mean, we're just going to see the team's not going to put me on IR, and we're just going to see, take it week to week and see how I am. The defense has really been the heart and soul of this Cowboys football team since really week one. You guys have, have carried the offense when they've been sputtering around. You guys are among the tops in the league. How many injuries can this unit endure between you? You've got Sean Lee. News came out today that Bruce Carter was out for the year. I mean, how many more injuries can you guys endure over there? Well, I mean, so far it's been the next man up, so hopefully we can continue with the next man up thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, our coaching staff does a great job at putting us in position to make plays. So it'll be interesting, and I'll be there supporting my guys, and it'll be fun to watch. When you're not playing, do you become, in essence, a player coach? Well, I mean, I can't do anything right now because I can barely stay awake because of the pain pills. Oh, you have pain pills? Yeah, because, I mean, I'm still in a, a, a immense amount of pain. Uh-huh. But, I mean, I'm going to help Mike learn the position, and I'm going to do what I can while I'm out. You don't plan on falling asleep during the show? No. Okay, good. So you'll be awake at least for the better part of the next half hour. Yeah. Okay, that's good news. Give us a, a little bit of, uh, about our guest tonight. We've got to we go on media route, former player, but media route for tonight's guest. Our guest tonight, um, he's, uh, I'm going to classify him as a winner because anybody that wins the Super Bowl is a winner to me. True. Um, I just met him tonight. He seems like a very intelligent, you know, outspoken guy. He played in the NFL for 11 years. That's a good run as a quarterback, too. And that's hard to do, so we'll get into that. In just I don't know about as a quarterback, because those guys, you can kind of hold the clipboard for seven. Wow. <laughs> Orlando Scandry is throwing punches with the right hand. He can't throw it with the left hand. Not, not, saying, not saying that he held the clipboard for seven, because he did But didn't. you're saying he you played. could. In general, yeah. In some general. quarterbacks do. Um, Peyton Manning's old backup. Jim, Jim Sorge. Sorge. 
Yeah. That guy's the greatest job in sports. Yeah. And then he went and backed up Eli Manning. Yeah. He's like Eli Manning's personal servant now. It's actually a good job. We're talking to Tony Banks, former NFL quarterback and NFL analyst, coming up after the break right here on Inside the Huddle. Presented by Inside the Huddle, brought to you by Albertson's Market, the official supermarket of the Dallas Cowboys. It means a great deal. Pepsi, official soft drink of the Dallas Cowboys. Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. And oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven. When I'm at Cowboys Stadium or sitting at home, and I hear Papa John's Pizza for Jerry Jones, yo, it lights me up like a Roman candle with toppings and flavor almost too good to handle. Cowboys, five stars, what I get. It's like a Papa John's Pepsi, double fret. Get a Papa John's large with up to five toppings and a two-liter Pepsi. People are swallowing because there's no better value. Yo, catch my ride. Cowboys five-star combo for $10.99. Hi there, this is Jason Witten. When it comes time to shop for my tailgate favorites on game day, I go to my store, Albertson's Market. I know they have the freshest produce and serve only USDA Steakhouse Choice Beef. If you want to get ready for game day like me, just come to my store and get 10% off your groceries every Dallas Cowboys game day when you wear your Cowboy jersey. Albertson's Market, the official supermarket of the Dallas Cowboys. Albertson's Market, it means a great deal. A microcision was all it took. One simple microcision procedure and the pain was gone. A tiny incision had me pain free the same day. Microcision is the most advanced spine procedure, allowing us to treat our patients in the least invasive way possible. We've made minimally invasive even less invasive. If you've been suffering from back or neck pain and haven't found relief, visit FixSpinePain.com or call 855-4-FIX-SPINE and find out about the new microcision procedure. I decided to open a studio, Pilates Bar at Preston Forest. After having done the workouts with Sebastian Legree and becoming addicted to his workouts. I've created the Mega Former to do the Degree Fitness workout. It works the entire body from head to toe. I feel fatigued but in all the right places. I think that the environment would motivate anybody and you walk out of here feeling really, really good about yourself. The Pilates Bar, now open in the Preston Forest Shopping Center. Inside the Huddle, brought to you by Maximum Sports, your travel connection to all the Cowboy games. HMS, helping people get out of the rent race. Microcision, we've made minimally invasive even less invasive. Kelly Alexander Photography, the Dallas Cowboys executive photographer and voted best wedding photographer by Not Magazine. And Enchanted Rock Texas Vodka, it's not how you roll, it's how you rock. We are back on Inside the Huddle, presented by Floss here on Fox Sports Southwest. I am your host, Matt Berry. We're at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. We are seen all over the country on Fox Sports Southwest, so you are part of a good football program. Also, for those of you who are into worldwide travel, Orlando, are you into worldwide travel? Um, I actually just left the country for the first time last year. So. Oh, really? Where'd you go? I went to Cancun. Oh, that's fun. Well, anyways, you can watch the show worldwide on CowboysLive.com. House of Blues concert. I will probably butcher this one. Uh, December 4th, Enrique Bunbury. Bunbury, you, hear, you ever hear Enrique Bunbury? No. All right, well, they're here December 4th if you want to go see him. <laughs> Our guest tonight, a former Michigan State quarterback. He's won a Super Bowl. He's played quarterback. Let me see if I got this right. The Redskins, the Rams, the Texans, and, of course, your Dallas Cowboys. He is the pride of the nope, Michigan nope. State. The Ravens. And the Ravens, of which he won Smart man. the right big there. one. All right. Thank you, Orlando. That's why you're the co-host. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the pride of Michigan State. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. Tony Banks. Now, after the playing career, I will also say he is now an uh, analyst for Cowboys Game Night right here on Fox Sports Southwest. So if you like what he does tonight, there's no reason you shouldn't. He does the Cowboys post-game show on Fox Sports Southwest. Also on the Big Ten Network. You're in an interesting situation because you, you talk NFL yeah. on Sundays on Fox Sports Southwest. You talk college football on Saturdays. Uh, for you, what is the biggest difference as far as being an analyst is concerned between the two levels? Well, I think with, with college football, as the way most people feel, I think, is, is it's a different atmosphere. The fans are different. 
fans don't really boo college athletes. When mm -hmm. you get into pros, I think concepts are different. I know the NFL game much better. I played in the NFL much longer than I played in college. So I prefer the NFL game, but I appreciate the college atmosphere. Orlando, which one do you appreciate more? The, I mean, you play in the NFL, but he's right. The atmosphere in college football, there's just so much more pageantry when it comes uh, to that level. The atmosphere in college football is awesome. You know, <laughs> it's undeniable. Like going to a stadium, seeing all of these drunk college students, <laughs> the bands. If you played a night game in college, that was just couldn't be topped. But um, the $465 scholarship checks. <laughs> those weren't good? No. What could you get on one of those? Rent, um, noodles. Ramen? <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, sandwich meat. And like the value pack off-brand cereal. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah. All right, so let me do the math. You were in college. Let's see, your rookie year was 2008. So you were in college from 2004 to 2008. No. No. I was in college from 2000 and from the fall of 2005 to the winter of 2007. Okay. And then, Tony, I don't mean to date you in front of everyone, but where were you? <laughs> when, when did you play your college ball? Well, you know, I had a, I had a long drive to get to college football, right. basically. I played some other sports. So... I was at Michigan State from 93 to 95. He played pro baseball. He's being modest. So he was a, he was a pro baseball guy. Uh, and then, I was trying to tell Orlando yeah, that I might be the best athlete he's never heard of. No, what is this Go Blue that I keep here? I don't it's know obviously about that. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. Michigan. What is that? I've never heard of Go Blue. Up until this year, there was no Go Blue. The there really, there years, really hasn't been. Because Go Green has been dominating, buddy. I've I seen the best uh, Michigan sign ever. It said, like, Oh, no, he's going to tell the joke. It said, like, I'd rather take a shower at Penn State than cheer for oh, Michigan. He told the joke. <laughs> no comment. No comment on that. So, I, I, that, that sticks in my head, though. <laughs> what I was getting with when you played college, he said the scholarship checks when he played were 465 a month. How much were they when you played? Well, I have, a, I have much more fond memories in, uh, at college than I did with the checks. You know, uh -huh. there were 45,000 students in Michigan State. At least 20,000 of those were women, so... I had some, some decent moments, and, and it was a lot let, less pressure playing in college than there is paying the bills, having right. a family, and the pros. So. Did, did you just, take a pay cut when you got drafted? A little bit, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> See, that, that's why it's a little different for him, though. Um, I mean, college was great. It was just like a, a, a struggle. Like, it was my first time being on my own. Mm -hmm. um, I was in Boise, Idaho. It was cold. It was just, I had a great time. I mean, I wouldn't trade it in. But it was kind of a struggle, like what you were going to eat. I didn't really eat good. And I know at those bigger <laughs> schools, you guys had like training table where they fed you. Yeah. I wasn't at a, like a bigger school. My school didn't become bigger until I was about to leave. So it was kind of like up and coming. That's why we crushed you guys at the beginning of this year, I think. <laughs> that happened, huh? Just in case you forgot. You can't, you you can't compare eras, though. <laughs> Michigan State is the whipping boy in that <laughs> big boy conference, Ooh. what you call but, like, it's not like they go out and you're like, oh, no, let's go watch that Michigan State game. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they do play some, some top-notch, they play some top-notch, um, you know, competition week in and week out from non-conference. At Boise, mm -hmm. it's like you're the underdog and, you know, you're going to give everyone your best shot. And all the little smaller mid-majors, they kind of looking up at you like you're the head dog and they're going to give you their best shot. So, I mean, the biggest pressure was... You couldn't lose one game. If you lost one game, you were out the hunt for a BCS right. game. We come back on Inside the Huddle presented by Floss. I'm going to ask Mr. Banks to put his analyst hat on. Coming up on Inside the Huddle presented by Floss here at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. Inside the Huddle brought to you by Apple Vacations, America's favorite vacation company. Polytronics, privacy at the flip of a switch. Rebecca Creek Whiskey, simply Texas in a glass. Tin Tin Collins, the largest entertainment center in Arlington, across from Cowboys Stadium. J-Team, your Dallas relocation specialist, will find the perfect home that fits your lifestyle. And Status Custom Shop, creating rolling art. Bob Lavelle here for HMS. I'm out and about once in a while and get a chance to meet new people, but during the last few outings, I've heard the same comment over and over. People say, wow, you look a lot better in person. So do me a favor, after seeing our commercial, call us, make an appointment, stop by and give me your opinion. And as long as you're here, might as well see where you stand on qualifying for that new home. Just a thought. Put us to the test, get out of the rent race, call HMS. 
discover America's favorite vacation destination, Mexico, and fall in love with the people, the culture, and oh, those beaches. Millions of Americans have experienced the magic of Mexico with Apple Vacations. For more than 40 years, Apple Vacations has provided amazing vacation values and exceptional service. See for yourself all Mexico has to offer. Mexico, the place you thought you knew. Hi there, this is Jason Witten. You know, on the football field, I like to be known as the go-to guy. Just like Albertson's Market is the go-to place for beef, especially since they only sell the best. USDA Steakhouse Choice Beef. USDA Steakhouse Choice Premium Beef at Albertson's Market is always tender and always full of flavor. So when you want a tender, juicy steak, go to the go-to place for USDA Steakhouse Choice Beef. Albertson's Market. Albertson's Market. It means a great deal. A micro scission was all it took. One simple micro scission procedure and the pain was gone. A tiny incision had me pain free the same day. Micro scission is the most advanced spine procedure, allowing us to treat our patients in the least invasive way possible. We've made minimally invasive even less invasive. If you've been suffering from back or neck pain and haven't found relief, visit FixSpinePain.com or call 855-4-FIX-SPINE and find out about the new micro scission procedure. Inside the Huddle, brought to you by Floss Dental, a new experience in dentistry. Albertson's Market, the official supermarket of the Dallas Cowboys. It means a great deal. The Pilates Bar, now open in the Preston Forest Shopping Center at the northwest corner of Preston Road and Forest Lane. Venture, your first choice for corporate and leisure transportation. The Four Kings Antique Store. The Four Kings has something for everybody. And by Global Media Design. Custom web development specializing in website design, social media, and e-commerce solutions applications. Can't stop, won't stop, Inside the Huddle, presented by Floss here at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. I'm your host, Matt Berry. My co-host tonight, Orlando Scandrick. Appreciate you joining us. Our guest, who is a football analyst, so we're going to have him be analyst in a minute, Tony Banks, former Dallas Cowboys quarterback, Super Bowl champion uh, by way of the Baltimore Ravens. The injury report brought to you by Microcision. Bruce Carter, we said earlier with the elbow, he is out for the season. A bad break there. Miles Austin, the wide receiver, has got a hip injury. He is questionable this week. And then our very own co-host, Orlando Skandrick, he is out right now with a hand, but he is remaining optimistic. Is that correct? Yeah. I'm not going to play this week, though. We know that. So, I mean, I You're don't, out this you, week. You're looking for a timeline. I don't have one to give you. He doesn't have a timeline <laughs> to give us, but we do know he is out this week, so we'll yeah. get you there. And a House of Blues concert coming up, block party on December 11th. All right, I mentioned to you earlier, Tony Banks, he's an analyst for the Big Ten. He's also an analyst for the Cowboys postgame show right here on Fox Sports Southwest. For you personally... When you're analyzing football games, what is the which level is harder for you to analyze in terms? Because an analyst's job, more more or less, is to almost criticize at some point. Right. Which is harder for you to do that? Well, college is much more difficult because the turnover. You know, kids are graduating, kids mm -hmm. only play one or two years, and I know the pro game. I know conceptually what they're trying to do. I know what they're trying to do with Orlando coming off the edge. I know Rob Ryan's defense. Mm -hmm. I know what he's trying to do. In college, it's a little more gimmicky, where it's not sound necessarily on offense or defense. The college is much more difficult. I got a question for you. Yeah. Being an analyst and being a former player, you know when you're a former player, you didn't been everything, get rid of them, cut them, all of that. You didn't hurt it all. So when you're an analyst, how do you fight that analyst mentality and that mentality of you've been there mm. and you know what it's like and you know what he's going through? I try to provide content. That's what I want to be about. I don't want to be around about a shtick. I don't want to be about you know, a come on man, you know, I want to mm. be about content. I want anything I say to be backed up with content. And that's really what I provide differently than I think a lot of other analysts provide. Not be because I'm a former player, but because I can articulate content behind my comment. It's always, I, I like to think it's well thought out and it has some level, some depth to it. Mm. Okay, can we give you like a little, can we get a snippet right here? Let's do it. So when you analyzed last week's game, what were some of the key turning points and some of the successful things we did and the, sh the things we struggled at? Well, i tell you what, as much as I'm a quarterback that likes to throw the ball, when you throw it 62 times, 50 times a week before, you're really relying on a lot of uh, luck, mm -hmm. if I can say that, because 
I don't care how good or bad a quarterback you are, when it's all on your shoulders, and they asked Tony Romo to do a lot. Is he Peyton Manning? Maybe not. Is he Tom Brady? Maybe not. But he's in that second tier of quarterbacks, and I think he's capable of bringing a championship here, but you have to surround him with the pieces to make it right. To provide a little more perspective with these fans, what are you supposed to do when you're down 28-3? Run the ball? It's not about having the perfect play call every time. To me, it's not. Everybody runs the same stuff, Orlando, that's, right? That's you see correct. it on film. Everybody so runs, the same, runs, offense, the, same, same runs the same thing, right? Yeah. But it's about sequence of calls. It's not about one call that's better than the next call. It's about being able to sequence these calls to where you set plays up where maybe it's not averaging five yards a carry, but if you have the threat of a run, mm -hmm. you can do play action, and that creates huge crevices in the defense. As you know, you get a linebacker to step up one or two steps, you throw the ball behind him, you got a 25-yard game. That's definitely correct. It is fan question time for Orlando Skandrick or Tony Banks, if you like, when we come back on Inside the Huddle, presented by Floss. Inside the Huddle, brought to you by Pepsi, official soft drink of the Dallas Cowboys, Papa John's, Better ingredients, better pizza. Oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven. Kelly Alexander Photography, the Dallas Cowboys executive photographer and voted best wedding photographer by Not Magazine. J-Team, your Dallas relocation specialist. We'll find the perfect home that fits your lifestyle. And Maximum Sports, your travel connection to all the Cowboy games. When I'm at Cowboys Stadium or sitting at home, and I hear Papa John's Pizza for Jerry Jones, yo, it lights me up like a Roman candle with toppings and flavor almost too good to handle. Cowboys, five stars, what I get. It's like a Papa John's Pepsi, double threat. Get a Papa John's large with up to five toppings and a two-liter Pepsi. People are swapping because there's no better value. Yo, catch my ride. Cowboys five-star combo for $10.99. Pablo Bell for HMS. Now, I know a lot of you are really tired of seeing my face on TV talking about getting out of the rent race and to stop making the landlord richer. And by now, you know that HMS helps people find a great home and the perfect mortgage all under one roof. Just wanted you to know that I tried to get someone else to do a spot for HMS, but he was tied up. So, I don't always buy houses, but when I do, I use HMS. I decided to open a studio, Pilates Bar at Preston Forest. After having done the workouts with Sebastian Legree and becoming addicted to his workouts. I've created the Mega Former to do the Legree Fitness workout. It works the entire body from head to toe. I feel fatigued but in all the right places. I think that the environment would motivate anybody and you walk out of here feeling really, really good about yourself. The Pilates Bar, now open in the Preston Forest Shopping Center. Rediscover America's favorite vacation destination, Mexico, and fall in love with the people, the culture, and oh, those beaches. Millions of Americans have experienced the magic of Mexico with Apple Vacations. For more than 40 years, Apple Vacations has provided amazing vacation values and exceptional service. See for yourself all Mexico has to offer. Mexico, the place you thought you knew. Inside the Huddle, brought to you by HMS, helping people get out of the rent race. Microcision, we've made minimally invasive even less invasive. Apple Vacations, America's favorite vacation company. The Pilates Bar, now open in the Preston Forest Shopping Center at the northwest corner of Preston Road and Forest Lane. The Four Kings Antique Store, the Four Kings has something for everybody. And Polytronics, privacy at the flip of a switch. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle, presented by Floss here at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. Don't forget to bring home your Dreamfly Productions demo reel on your table. Dreamfly is a full-service production company led by a team of Emmy Award-winning producers. Dreamfly does it all. Call them for your next corporate or music video, commercial film, or own reality show. Okay, it is time for fan segment question for Orlando Skandrick or Tony Banks. All right, this question is both for Orlando and Tony. What was the defining moment in your life that you knew you wanted to be a professional football player? Mm. It was a, a childhood goal, but I think it became reality um, maybe my, after my first year when I was named freshman All-American. So, I mean, I was one of the top freshmen in all of college football. And then it became a real, like, like it became surreal when I applied. There's a committee that you can apply to and mm -hmm. tells you what your grade will be if you come out early. Well, I applied to this committee 
just to, you know, kind of test the water. And they told me, you know, I'd be a fourth round draft pick or lower. So at that point, I knew, like, okay, there are some people that think really high of me. I can really do this. I think for me, after I failed miserably at, at baseball, <laughs> <laughs> was the point that I had a junior college coach after I went, failed at baseball. I went to junior college, and I had to, our special teams coach played with the Denver Broncos, went mm-hmm. in camp a couple of times. He was a punter. He was like, man, your arm is stronger than John Elway's. And at that point in time in my life, I thought it was all about arm strength. I was like, well, why isn't somebody drafting me right now? Mm-hmm. Then I got to Michigan State, had these long plays that I had to call. I was like, oh, this is why I'm not in the NFL right now. It's, it's much more difficult than I thought. Hi, I'm Deanna. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Tell me, Orlando, Tony, did you or do you have any special rituals or superstitions before every game? I do. Um, as soon as I get to the stadium, I get on the elevator. And I walk through the tunnel, I walk out on the field with my, with my dress clothes on still. Mm-hmm. And I kind of visualize what I, this is the place I'm going to be for the next three hours. And then after the team brings it up, I squirt my mouth full of water. And then I jump up and spit it like ahead of me and it goes everywhere. I, I never really had any rituals. You know, playing the quarterback position, you know, I came into the league. I'm, I'm from Cali just like you were. It was all gangster rap. So I came into the league thinking I'm going to listen to that. But then I didn't start out too well. Right. So then I was like, maybe I need to change it to R&B. But I never really figured out any rituals. No, I don't have any in particular. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm from Delaware. This question's for Orlando. Since you're hurt, I don't know if you've heard or not, but I'm a pretty awesome nurse, and I was just wondering if you were looking for one full time. Yes, thank you. That's a great question. Orlando, go ahead. Um, not looking for a nurse full time. Um, I'm all right. I'm recovering. It's nothing that nobody can really do right now. I need to wait till I go see the doctor again, but thanks for the offer. I would like to ask you a question. Yes, what kind of nursing services were you offering? Well, I was, was going to see if it was just hand care, like full sponge bath, or, you know, what the whole deal was. Forget about the, the hand care, the sponge bath. No. Okay. <laughs> all, right. all right. So I had to follow up. It's my duty to follow up. You look kind of excited about this. Well, bath. I just didn't know if she... Look, we're, it's, it's just, this is cable, right? Fox Sports Southwest. Matt, now I know cable. what you do on your spare time. Sponge bass. That's what all the media does. <laughs> and our thanks to Tony Banks and Orlando Scandrick. This has been another edition of Inside the Huddle. A uh, quick thanks to the folks, Ray Salina, Streamfly Productions, Ted Nichols Payne, and Shannon Cook. We'll see you right back here next Monday on Inside the Huddle, presented by Foss at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. Inside the Huddle has been presented by Floss Dental, Albertsons Market, Pepsi, Papa John's, 7-Eleven, Maximum Sports Connection, HMS, Microcision, Enchanted Rock Vodka, Apple Vacations, Polytronics, Rebecca Creek Whiskey, Status Custom Shop, The Pilates Bar, The J Team, Kelly Alexander Photography, The Four Kings, 1010 Collins, Venture Sedan and Limousine Service, and Global Media Design. Inside the Huddle has been a presentation of Ray Salinas Sports Media Incorporated and Dreamfly Productions.